Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Riddle. I am making a magical forest. This is our property in Santa Cruz, California, and hopefully in the next couple months, it will be open to have people come out and enjoy the magic forest, my art installation, Rebellion Against the Darkness, which you can see in the distance here and all my other secret things I have in the forest. Now here's the walking trail, which goes for three to five miles. And to another artist's property who is an amazing wood sculptor named Chuck Blair, which is also known as Blair Ranch here in Santa Cruz, right on the edge of Scotts Valley, California. But people walk this trail every day and they have no idea the thing there's wa there are things they're walking by. And this is one of the things that I had carved out into the, carved out in the forest. I'm not sure if you can see them. I'm gonna to try to back it up enough. But when I get the other one carved, it's going to be the lovers. And it's a, it was once the mother tree. She was probably over a hundred years old. And the loggers came in and took her out and then did a slash and burn. See the eye, it's the nose, the mouth going down to the chin. And they're very Easter Island, very paleoglyphic, not paleoglyphic, is that what it is? The, the big Easter Island statue things. Monolithic, okay, monolithic. So we've got these, and then when you continue on the walk, of course you're out in the forest, so it's always a constant upgrading and, and fixing and cleaning. I had this giant spider web but I need to repair it because it's a material that isn't super weather friendly. This is my favorite time of the day in the magic forest. Look at all the lights. Can you see him? It's a wood goblin. He's actually quite huge. I'm eventually gonna build a body for him and he's gonna be suspended up in a tree, but right now you can see his creepy hand coming out from behind. And unless you're sitting across for him, from him or her, he just disappears and, and, and is completely, here's the bench you can sit on to look at him. He just completely camouflages. So this is, mysterious structure that most people don't even realize you can go inside of. It's very primitive, very nest-like. And what originally constructed it, all of a sudden the children were showing up and they were started leaving gifts for fairies, like little tea sets and all kinds of amazing stuff. And I thought, oh, that's what this is. Okay, kids. So I have turned it into now my little fairy land paradise for the kids. You have to understand, you know what blows me away? People don't understand the hours it takes to do something like this and to do it correctly. And then people can't even give you a thumbs up on your video or leave you a positive comment. I mean, are people really that small that they can't just appreciate something for the, the work and value and craftsmanship you put into it? That's just sad. Can't we be kinder to each other and be more supportive of unusual and beautiful things? There's so little of it anymore in the world. So little magic because we're so dependent and so caught up in everything having to be monetized. So this was donated to me, this fairy ball, and then I did the mosaic on it. And it's on this awesome slash and bird tree stump. And I'm embedding crystals all around it. But one of the part of the fairy realm it goes up to this awesome mirror and this is really hard to capture so I'm gonna do my best but check it out oh it's a good time of day 
Look, we caught a rainbow. <laughs> That's magical. Oh, there's a dragon. Well, the light's definitely gonna make it difficult to see some of the houses and easier to see others. Let's do a close-up of this fairy's home. These little hobgoblins. Oh, look at the crystal structures. It's just endless. And I can't wait till people start coming to visit it. This one's got uh, stair steps that go all the way up to nowhere. Someone's waving. <laughs> Little goblin hands. Here's a cool place. That's the ice fairy's house. Really likes this time of year when it starts to get a little colder. Though we never really get much ice. It's probably one of the more elaborate structures in fairyland. So far, this is our, our only visible resident. <laughs> Look at the stairs. So this is actually a, a Ganoderm, Ganoderma Appalachia I used for the stairs, which is a type of wood fungus. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, someone left an acorn. <laughs> I didn't do that. That's kind of cool. steps that go everywhere. This one's entrance is made from madrone. Madrone's a beautiful hardwood that gets really gnarly. Often they sell it in uh, pet shops for aquariums. Okay, so that's a pretty good look at what's going on here. Hope you enjoyed it, escaping for a little while into a child's world, that place we were all once free. And hopefully this is gonna make a beautiful place for people to come and escape for a little while into nature and get away from all the violence and madness and sucky things that are dominating our minds these days. Thanks so much for your time. If you enjoy getting away Beautiful things, natural things, magical things. Please subscribe, it helps. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Because how we treat each other in the streets is ultimately our reality. And remember, even if you're broken, like this broken mirror, we can still choose to reflect light to each other, no matter how broken we feel and powerless. Bye. <laughs>